page. So whenever you see a white triangle reference booklet card stack, it is a little off of two of you. And this is what you do. You look at the cards you need. First one, if you have two sides of a white triangle, and you need a third side of the Pythagorean theorem. Those like the positive side, these two sides of the bag. Do it with me. Positive the bag. I messed that one up. Ready? Have two sides. Have two sides. Out. Ready? Some of you, the whole punch, kind of ace the set. We have here a. Okay. We have here. That's a six. That's nine. There's your X. We are on your reference booklet. Right triangle toolbox bottom. Do you see that triangle there? Do you see it? Got it? You're on the wrong page, Sarah. Look under the heading that says Pythagorean Theorem. Coming down. Ready? You guys saw for X. Now you may not use a calculator. Simplify your radical go. Yeah, the bottom is six. The bottom, help each other. It's the bottom of the page. Like squared. Guys, I am so sorry I confused you. Let's try this again. Look up here. Stop. Just quit asking questions and look up here. See that word Pythagorean theorem? Make sure you see that at the top of your cardstock. Scroll down. That's how you do it. There's your example. Ready? Solve for X. This is going on the card so you remember how to do it. So take a look. X equals the square root of nine squared minus six squared. That's root forty-five. You take out the nine, which becomes three root five. Sums it. You got three root five. Now we're ready to move on. The next two are what are called special right triangles. And I, I'm not being special because I'm being sarcastic. Special circumstances. 45, 45, 90. And then we do this table only. 30, 60, 90. Is you can use this table. You cannot use those tables to only apply this one. That's what you're going to do. The right triangle is for 30, 60, 90. You guys ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Root two. All right, on that note, what that means is in 
five three five ninety triangle. Step number one: the legs are always equal. Leg equals leg. That's true because we have two equal angles. We have two equal angles. You have two equal sides. So the legs will be always equal. The hypo. I like you to do it like this. This is the leg. Draw an arrow. Times by root two. Put a little dot root two. The hypo is whatever the leg is times root two. That does not mean you just clap root two. Don't get too by on your way to the hypo. So 45, 45, 90, legs, leg, leg, root two. Let's do an example together. So here's our legs. So what I want you to do is I'd like you to circle this leg, draw an arrow, dot root two. We kind of have to work ourselves backwards. That's why we did that beginning exercise. This reads like this. Something times root two is this is how that reads. Something times root two is six. Ready? Do not say this out loud. Fill out the something. I'll land on someone in about 20 seconds. Do not say that loud. Alex, what is it? <laughs> something times root two is six. Seven. Something. Uh huh. There you go. How many of you comes up? You said three, two, two. You got it. Which means leg, leg. That means this is two, 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 two. That's how easy this gets. Yeah, they're both three root two because legs are equal, right? Okay, that's for forty-five, forty-five, ninety. We'll do more. We'll do more. Don't worry. Ready? Thirty, sixty, ninety. Thirty, sixty. Nice job. So we go like so. Notice everything goes back to the short leg. That's really critical. You get that. So you start with the short leg always. So we go here. Here's your short leg. Short legs always across from the 30 degrees. There's your short leg. Short leg to the hypo. You're going to times by two. Short leg to the long leg. You times by root three. Write this down, please. I have five of you. Your pencils on me. Short leg to the long leg is root three. Short leg to the high leg is times by two. That's the pattern you learn in the staggering This is true. Is it short leg. Short leg root three. Short leg to see light bulb. There it is. Light switch went on. Okay, so on this note, we scroll down. Everybody identify the short leg right now. Find the short leg. Where on earth did you come from? <laughs> There's the short leg right there. So do this. We don't have that. So put a box there. We don't have it. It's going to go like this. Ready? Short leg times two gets us to the hypo. Short leg times root three gets us the long leg. Go just like that. It reads like this. Something, you can't do something times two is something. We're gonna go this way. Something times root three is eight root three. Something times root three is eight root three. Just so like this. Wowza, I hope you guys are being sarcastic. 
Yeah, I know. I don't know where the 17 came from. Jen said it was eight. It's fabulous, buddy. That is eight. Eight times two, that's 16. Uh, yes, sir. Two on the right hand side, we're going to do that together. I'll come back to you, Nick, I promise. Here we go. We're going to do three examples together. Step number one. Without. Ready? Put your reference booklets away, please. Put your reference booklets away, please. Put your reference booklets away, please. Now, fill out that chart from memory. Go. Go. All right, Chase, focus this way, please. Okay, ready, guys? I need the talking stop. This is let's get, this is easy once you get it. But we're getting lost. Watch. So, very slowly. Forty-five, forty-five, ninety. Leg, leg. Leg root two. That's how that goes. Okay. Now, this is our hypo. So we go back to our legs and we're asking ourselves this. Something times root two gives us five. Something times root two gives us five. You try to fill out that something in the next 30 seconds. Go. Something times root two is five. Do not help each other. Right So the whole thing is 5 root 2 over 2, which makes this 5 root 2 over 2 because the legs are equal. No. In truth, it was. Mr. Fairweather, was that you, sir? Okay. He asked me if he could do 2.5 in trig class. Trust me, do this now. Because in trig class, it's always going to be a fraction, never a decimal. So learn to recognize it in fraction form. Okay. Allison, is that a question or are you just resting your arm? You okay, dear? Good? Okay. Ready? Fill this out without looking at your charts. Go. Fill that out without looking at your charts. It's for my absentee people. Ready? 30, 60, 90. Short leg. Short leg root three. Short leg times two. Grand. Ready? Let's start here with our short leg. There's our short leg. To go to the long leg, it's times by root three. To go to the hypo, it's times by two. There's a big problem there. We don't have the short leg. It looks like this. Something times root three is eight. Backtrack. No. Something times root three is eight. Thank you. 
Talk to each other. Okay, take a look up here, guys. We need a root three that gets us three. We divide by three that gets us one to get us eight. Bam. So this is eight, root three over three. Times by two, only the Audis talk to each other. This last one is 16, root three over three. And you are done, my friend. No, never. Yes, ma'am. Because you always see the short leg, and the short leg is across the small angle. That's the small angle, that's the short leg. Everything goes back to the short leg. Okay, ready, guys? This right here is a 45, 45, 90. Put the chart there. This is your graduation problem. This right here is a 30, 60, 90. Put your charts in there, go. Put your charts. If you combine the charts, put your charts. Always start with the charts. Write your charts in there, please. Okay, you ready? Take a peek up here. This five root two is that a leg or a hypo? Out loud. This five root two, is it a leg or a hypo? Leg. leg. So leg, leg. They're the same thing. From here to here, we're going to times by root two. So five root two times root two. That is ten. Okay, watch. Five root two times root two is ten. Got it. Okay. Then over here, this is our short leg because it's across the 30 degrees. Short leg to that hypo is times by two. Short leg to the long leg is times by root three. You fill those two out. I'll give you 20 seconds. Yeah, you're probably right, Stephen. Give me a second. Let people think it through. Okay, guys, out loud, what tends to is 10? That's 5. This is Audi 5 in a root 3. They don't communicate. They just sit right next to each other. Listen. 